like and subscribe. Hello Capricorn, welcome to your reading. Capricorn, this is a general spirit check-in, not a one-to-one -one spirit check-in. So you might not resonate with the whole reading, you might not resonate with any of the reading. Whatever you do resonate with, please take what you need and leave the rest behind. Capricorn, I could be picking up on your energy or on the energy of someone who's in your energy. So if it doesn't feel like I'm speaking about you, please switch the energies around. Okay. Woo. First two cards are out. It's going to be a three card spread, Capricorn. One more card, please, Creator. Nope, right there. There it is. <clears throat> Okay, ooh, look at this. Okay. So before I say anything, Capricorn, I am just going to do some clarifiers here. You've got the Seven of Swords upright. You've got the Page of Cups upright, and you've got the Ten of Wands upright. Okay, and on the bottom of the deck is the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So supporting the entire energy, the entire reading is a sense of recovery, a sense of improvement of, the, of your life or of someone else's life. Okay, Seven of Swords energy. What? Okay, Capricorn. Yep, all right. Okay, so somebody you've been watching, this is somebody who, I don't feel like this is your energy, I feel like this is somebody you've been watching, the Seven of Swords. Um, I feel like you feel like this person is not honest, but what I'm feeling is that this person has been gathering up the swords, trying to find another way through this, this is in the past through a situation without there having to be a bloody knockdown fight. And as you're watching this, you're not motivated toward this person. You feel no motivation toward this person at all. Um, you have a sense of burden or maybe it's they themselves that has a sense of burden, but the 10 of wands has come up twice in this reading. So there's, Oh, interesting. You're either burdened, Capricorn, about this person who is trying to find their way through a situation or they are burdened. I feel like you don't have any motivation toward watching this person. I'm feeling like they're, oh, they're finding a way through a situation maybe is burdensome to you. Maybe it's burdensome to you because they find their way through a situation, but it means shattering, shattering dreams. They've, they've shattered maybe your dreams. Maybe your dreams were shattered or maybe their dreams were shattered. But in some ways, you don't feel a sense of motivation toward this. You feel no inspiration toward this person. There's a sense of burden from them or from you about watching them go through um, whatever transformation they're going through in order to find a new resolve to get through a predicament. Okay, and it leads to shattered, shattered family, the lovers in reverse. Oh, ouch, lovers in reverse. So somebody failed to meet the test. Ooh, whether this was you or them, Capricorn. But somebody failed to meet the test. What is the page of cups, creator? The page of cups. 
The Page of Cups creator. What is the Page of Cups? Okay, the Page of Cups. So someone is a wisdom keeper, either them or you. Um, I'm feeling like, okay, what a mess here. What a mess. Okay, I'm feeling like this was a messy situation here. My cards kind of exploded, but ever, all the cards were still face down. So it lets me know that there was some sort of a conflict, but the dynamics have not yet been seen clearly or unpacked. Okay. Maybe, possibly. It doesn't necessarily mean that's how it is, you know, <laughs> or only how it is. Okay, but somebody has found their way through a situation. They carry the fruit of the deep. Am I taking that? Yes, okay. Oh, they've taken the fruit of the deep. They, are, they have found the fruit of the deep. They are possibly a wisdom holder within themselves. Maybe this is you, Capricorn. Maybe you have found the depth. Maybe you have found... You're a wisdom keeper and found your way through a situation through yourself. Founding a situation through yourself. Or you're watching this person find a situation, find their, their own way through them through themselves. Through their own reactions to situations. Am I taking this? Yes. Okay. Oh geez. What's on the bottom of the deck for this row is the Four of Swords. So you're watching them and I'm feeling this could be both of your energy. That you've come into your own sense of inner wisdom, uh, gaining your own access to the depths within you. Uh, Okay, but you've watched either you're getting an in increase of sensitivity or you're watching this person get an increase of sensitivity. You know, it's like they had to find their way through a situation and possibly they found that way through themselves, through a gift they have, or maybe this is you. You found your way through a, a situation through your own gifts, possibly. Um, yeah, but you're watching this person sh struggle, trying to find it. Oh, somebody wanted someone else to fail and they didn't fail. They've succeeded because they have succeeded or maybe somebody wanted you to fail, but you succeeded Capricorn. But either way, somebody has come into a new sense of of contract with themselves and it's bringing in genuine connections with others or just new relationships with others somebody is vexed as they look at this person somebody if either this is you or them Capricorn someone is vexed and somebody is up at night stressed out about this is losing sleep over the fact that the other person has found their way to a sense of victory there's a lot of overthinking <clears throat> there's a lot of overthinking um i don't feel this is entering into a state of rest i'm feeling like you're overthinking this someone is doing a lot of overthinking okay what is the ten of wands upright creator what is the ten of wands upright this could be you or them switch the energies around capricorn as you see fit as they fit into your life. What is the Ten of Wands? Am I taking that card, Crater? Yes. Okay. Ooh, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. So new inspiration, new force. Am I taking that too? Yes. Okay. New inspiration. Someone is a light worker, even. Pardon me, I'm getting shamanic burps coming in. Someone is a light worker and the Ace of Cups in reverse is what is supporting the, the future energy. So when the energies you don't see coming up to you, 
that you don't see coming in the future is a sense of burden somebody wanting to take responsibility for themselves for their feelings for how they are for how they see the world for where they see their life for their own passions um, but dealing with feeling a set like they were dealing with a cruel burden a cruel oppressor um, but I feel like whatever this ten of wands is somebody carries it very well because they are a light worker they're a light worker there's new force and strength and vigor rushing in to support this person this person is avoiding conflict but the conflict but they do have a sense of joy they do have a sense of joy and festivity but somebody else that this person is dealing with maybe this is you capricorn maybe you're the person that is a light worker maybe you're the person that is um avoiding conflict but you do have a sense of joy and festivity capricorn but somebody else Yes, because you've turned your back on this energy. Somebody is turning their back on a sense of insecurity. So I feel like you have found your way through a part of yourself that was very difficult to face, but you did it. Not only did you did it, not only did you do it, but you you've made peace with it. You have a sense of peace with it. And that's what I mean. The Ten of Wands is somebody taking responsibility for our, all their wands. It is, it can be a sense of burden because there's no one to, to the blame. We often get into situations or into certain uh, solid perceptions because of our own, because of our own agreements that we make with ourselves in ignorance. Usually we usually make these agreements when we're younger and we don't know all the information. We don't have all the facts, but we're just trying to fucking survive. So it's like, I feel like you've made, somebody made contracts and agreements in order to overcome. And these contracts and agreements were steeped in your insecurity or in someone's insecurity, but someone's turning their back on this. Someone's turning their back on this or is allowing their insecurity to fuel their joy. So what do I mean by that? Somebody is using their shadow and gleaming from their shadow, getting truth from their shadow, and it is giving them a sense of joy. This is very much, this could be sh uh, shamanic um, energy, how somebody knows how to transcend and transmute their own sense of insecurity, maybe even feeling like a martyr. You know, somebody like, look what I've done for you, and look what you've done for me in return, like some sort of... That's what I'm feeling is somebody is feeling like a martyr. They have their own sense of insecurity because they're making their actions about somebody else. But I'm feeling that you have are either turning your back on this or you have learned how to transcend this, transmute this, um, alchemize it. How do you alchemize it? You find out how, how it serves you. How does it serve you? How does it serve? How does this? Someone else's actions benefit you. And I don't mean like corruptively. I mean like genuinely, how did it benefit you? Okay. And the Ace of Cups in reverse. Um, someone is feeling, this is unrequited love. This is unrequited love. There's a set. Okay. So this is, a, there's a, there's two layers here in this uh, future reading. Someone has unrequited love for the other person. Maybe this is you having unrequited love for the person you're watching walk away. Maybe this is you, you walking away and they have a sense of unrequited love for you, but either way, someone's walking away. Whatever's happened here, this is over. And you're just going to be picking up, picking up the pieces. I want to pull an Egyptian Oracle card from this creator. This is, this is pretty powerful energy. Am I taking that card? Yes. Okay. Perseverance. Perseverance. And look at the white dress she's wearing. Capricorn, very purified, very purified energy. 
Number 26, when number 26 is broken down, it becomes an eight. So this could be your eighth house. The eighth house is often is a Scorpio place on the medicine wheel. I mean, on the Zodiac wheel. Uh, the eighth house is also Scorpio's house. So somebody is entering into their shamanic energy. Okay, so perseverance, a unique, this neath. A unique and great and mysterious divinity, M mother of the universe, of the sun Ra, conceived while remaining a virgin, warrior and hunting goddess, creator of warrior weapons and guardian of the dead in battle. Oh, ho, ho. but also protectress of peace at home, of weaving, a deity that wove the whole world and existence. She represents determination, challenges, intelligence, and knowledge of the truth. Neith urges you to achieve, Neith guides you in achieving a goal. Do not give up hope. Neith urges you to persevere. She will protect you if you put your heart into working hard and intelligently. So yeah, so this could be you, Capricorn, that has a sense of burden and trying to maybe walk away from somebody also too. Walking, okay, that's what I feel. You're walking away from somebody. You're walking away from them. There is unrequited love. Um, maybe this person is a, is a um, light worker. Maybe you're a light worker and you need to walk away from, from this person. Just because, okay, let me dispel a myth right now. Just because you're a light worker, or they are, doesn't mean they have the capacity to heal the situation. Sometimes some situations cannot be healed. Some contracts are meant to end, end, that's it. They're done, they've been fulfilled. You need to let it crumble and, and be done with it. Okay, and I'm getting the feeling this is with family could be a marriage could be a family my mother dad and their child or there could be a family that you grew up with but I'm feeling the sense this is family and you are being you are persevering as you find the strength within yourself to find your own sense of joy and festivity as you walk away from a situation as you trust yourself and leave behind insecurity leave behind like help me leave behind like am i doing the right thing am i doing the right thing like this don't worry don't worry okay <clears throat> and i didn't have any music for, for for this reading so that must be for a reason maybe the creator wants your full and undivided attention okay this is the reading capricorn i hope this helps but this is going to be overall okay i feel this last future card is you because you are somebody else could be both of you, but you or somebody else is improving your life. You are getting over, you're recovering from a major breakup, a major falling apart, something fell apart. You're also recovering from a sense of not feeling good enough. You're also recovering from a sense of not feeling good enough or being able to not feeling, not feeling, not feeling like you're enough. You're recovering from this. Whatever you're doing, Capricorn, you're doing it well. Keep on doing it. Persevere. You've got Neith guiding you through the perseverance. And then if this is within Scorpio's house, maybe 26 is um, symbolic to you for some reason, like in some way. Or broken down, this becomes an eight. So whatever this is, this is other people's resources. <clears throat> Maybe you're learning to trust other people's resources. Maybe it's other people's resources you're going to be tapping into to get through a situation. You know, that is, uh, you know, absolutely. Maybe you're going to be relying on f friends and family that is going to be gathered around you and supporting you and bolstering you. Absolutely. But either way, you were definitely, this is looking into the future, so you were definitely going to be overcoming this, Capricorn. 
Okay, I hope this uh, reading has been helpful as, and has been useful, and I hope you can take it forward in, into your lives. Thank you so much, Capricorn, and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with this reading, perhaps you will like this reading.